in hoops. The Fever are getting help this season from a man that some might remember from his days as a player at IUPUI. He's Carlos Knox, the leading scorer in Jaguar history, and our Jeremiah Johnson has his story. Opportunity of a lifetime, and um, I just want to make the best of my situation. That was 10 years ago when Carlos Knox got his shot with the Pacers. I always thought I could be that 1%. But a college knee injury played a role in keeping Carlos out of the NBA. Now I'm in a different stage of life, different stage of coaching, and I think that I can really, really get there on the coaching level. Good pass, good there. So while Carlos Knox's playing days are over, he is still heavily involved in the game of basketball, both as a coach. Good job, with a battle, with a battle. And injury rehab specialist. He was always around. I'm like, hey, low, for a workout at 10 o'clock at night, all right, I'm there. When Tamika Catchings went down with an Achilles tendon injury last season, Carlos Knox played a major role in her rehabilitation. Very motivating, very encouraging, very like, all right, you know, catch. I mean, I know what you're going through, but you got to get over this hump. And she just is so good at listening and picking up on things. There you go, catch. Now Knox is working with catchings. Good job, Katz. And the entire Fever team as a volunteer assistant coach. I think he really loves the game. He wants to be around the game. It's kind of a, a player's kind of coach, and, you know, we really appreciate the time and the effort that he puts forth with us. Putting in the time that will no doubt pay off in the future. Timing is everything, and sometimes, you know, you have to sacrifice. Sometimes you have to do different things, you know, to put your career in a different position. Jeremiah Johnson, Fox 9 Sports. Thanks, JJ. And when the fever season ends, Carlos is just getting started. He's also the head coach of the Pittsburgh Explosion of the CBA and a personal coach for former Jaguars standout and first-round pick George Hill. On the court tonight, the fever visiting Minnesota. Indiana down eight at the half, but rallying in the second. Tan wide for three. She hit five in the game, finished with 19 points. Then it's Tamika Catchings launching from deep. That's good, too. And when you're hot, you're hot. Tully Bevilacqua pulling up. For the long ball, off glass, she called it. It's good. Catchings leads the comeback with 29 points and nine boards. Make it two in a row for the Thieves. They win it 79-68. to 68. And in baseball, the... No one in the history of IUPUI will ever win in 34 years.
Probably during the preseason, you know, because uh, in New Jersey you start later than you know other states. So we had it for probably about two weeks, but I mean it wasn't this tough. Yeah. Now I mean I'm very happy, you know, with my decision. And, you know, I just had a lot of fun out here. You know, I learned a lot. I really did a lot about defense. And, you know, when to take shots and stuff like that. It's a pretty good group. You know, they get up and they defend. Uh, it's nice to see point guards get up and really get after people. Yeah. Um, because um, with our team, Travis is about the only one can really do that. But here we have a number of players can get up and defend. And they're, they're working hard. Uh, we're not doing a lot of drills. We're doing a lot of scrimmaging. So uh, it's a lot easier for them. Uh, he learns as he goes. And uh, he'll start taking better shots. But, uh, you know, he's young. And uh, he's used to being the man all the time. And, and, and now he's out here just getting his feet wet. I'm in the opportunity of a lifetime. And um, I just want to make the best of my situation. Uh, I think Coach Bird is giving everybody a fair shot. And I just want to come in here and work as hard as I can. And Carlos Knox is the Division II basketball star. For three seasons at IUPUI, he's pumped in 30 points a game and scored more than 2,400 points. He's an All-American at a small school, a long shot at making it to the NBA. It's like a dream come true. You know, all my life I've just always dreamed about becoming an NBA player. Carlos watches tonight's NBA All-Star game with his teammate Marcus Overstreet. All his life, he's dreamed about playing in the big time. If he's lucky, he'll be drafted or get an NBA tryout as a free agent. Some critics thought he wouldn't make it past high school ball. I really didn't listen to, you know, most of the things that people were saying about me not being able to make it. I always thought I could be that 1%. Tonight, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant stage a duel showcasing the NBA's past, present, and future. For Carlos and Marcus, it's the NBA's future they're concerned about, a future they hope includes Carlos Knox. By the way he's going since you know, I've been knowing him, I think that one day he's going to be out there because you know, I have that much faith in him as far as being a good player. I just feel like I can do most of the things that uh, most of the point guards can do in the NBA, and I just work real hard and trying to perfect, you know, most of the things that I need to do to get to the next level.